to pop in copper. And it starts out right away. As long as it's sealed up, it should be good. So the copper is packed with the nitric acid, producing nitrous oxide. Which is a gas. Which is a gas that's going through. And so some copper, uh, copper nitrates dissolved in the water too. So some of the water vapors taking that through. It's bubbling. There's going to be a second reaction going on in this tube, in that flask. So the first reaction is like instantaneous, and the second reaction takes like two minutes. Huh. So. Okay, so... He, so yeah. go again for me. In this one... Nitric acid. Nitric acid and, and copper. copper. And then it creates... It's, it's going to create... It's going to create uh, water vapor, it's going to create uh, nitrous oxide, and then copper nitrate. So the copper nitrate is probably going to be staying in the bottom as a solid. Nitrous oxide is going to react with the water, and I guess it's going to make some nitric acid in there. And how will you know? Uh, I've got universal indicator. So that'll tell me the pH of the two, of the beaker and the flask. But now the second reaction is taking place because inside there, see what's going, if you can see the, the glass tube, see what's going on? Yeah, it's bubbling right back up. Yeah. Oh, yeah. So, it's, so gas is being pushed yep. so up. So it's, it's pressure. It's like a little barometer inside there. I couldn't get enough pressure last time I tried this, but I think it's going to do it this time. We got enough. Should I be afraid? No, no, no. Wait till it hits the second jar. So down in the bottom, there's actually a green fluid, which is the copper nitrate. It's actually pretty neat. Like, it didn't work last time. So I had to redo this. I'm taping it so I don't have to do this in every class. But, but now it's drawing. It's drawing water. water up. There that. Yep. It's drawing the. Oh, wow. It's oh, yeah. That's first class. That is pretty good. Hopefully I don't run out of water. See, this is the... Oh, I think we're gonna do it. Oh wow, you can see the waves of stuff coming through. Oh yeah. So what does it end up at? So this one's going to be, what's the, the next, the second reaction is, well, there's nitric acid plus water, the first one, and then, I have to look it up. I think we're about done. Oh, it's a comeback. Yeah, it's coming out of there. So is the blue just the universal indicator? Nope, nope. No. That's 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 going to be a copper compound. I'm going to guess. Maybe. Let's take copper nitrate. Is there another next step? Yep. So there's nothing left in this beaker. indicator I'll turn red and acid. Yep. And so it's a strong acid. I mean that's as red as it gets. Yeah, yeah. Crimson blood red, yeah. And all all the uh, all the coppers, all the uh, nitrous oxides. Completely going. All the brown is reacted. 
Yeah, that's impressive. Mm -hmm. So is the acid only on top, or is it just that it hasn't mixed? Or the indicator hasn't mixed? So what's the power of that acid? Like, what could we do with that's, that? That's that's going to be a, a pH of one or two. That's wow. Like, that's a strong acid. That's probably no, more nitric acid in there. I could probably redo if I added copper to that. Yeah. Same thing would happen. Oh, huh. Interesting. And it's the same exact acid as you started with. 